The whole point of Psalm 23 is to consider yourself as one of God's sheep. And you know, David does the same thing here. Psalm 100 verse 3 to 4, he's saying we are his people, the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Now we read that as two completely separate verses, and rightly so, because we don't have the context that many of the people who would have been hearing this had. And many of the people who, who, who were listening to this psalm would, would have probably been around Jerusalem and would have known that in Jerusalem there is a gate called the Sheep Gate. And they would be very familiar with that gate because they would pass through that gate on many occasions carrying a, a, an unblemished lamb, a, a sheep, to, to bring to the priests who would slaughter it on their behalf as part of their sin offering to God in order to get themselves right with God. And so when they hear Sir David saying, we are his sheep, and in the next breath saying, so enter his gates with a sacrifice of thanksgiving, they understood what that meant. They understood that meant to come before God is to come to him in thanksgiving despite your circumstances in which you might find yourselves. You might feel like a lamb being led to the slaughter, but enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. In other words, you might feel like nothing is going your way right now. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. You might feel like you've had one of the worst years of your life. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. You might feel like your business is struggling. You might... Maybe your health is having, you've got problems. You know, maybe your kids are driving you up the wall. There's things going off in your marriage. And God says, as you come to worship me, enter my gates with thanksgiving and my courts with praise. God's not being cruel. God's trying to help us understand that thanksgiving is not there to move him. Thanksgiving is is about moving ourselves into his presence. Because worship adjusts our posture. 